One of the strangest tales in the federal bureaucracy starts here, in downtown Washington, with a routine administrative step. A longtime federal employee puts in her paperwork to retire. But before that employee can get her full pension check, her paperwork must go on a long and convoluted journey. First, they must come here, to Boyers, a small town in western Pennsylvania, where the government operates a huge processing center 230 feet underground in the caverns of an old limestone mine. It's one of the most epic glitches in the federal government. Instead of a modern digital process, every retirement application from every federal employee is filed and processed on paper. Here's how it works. When someone retires, the file is printed out and shipped across the country to the mine. Old records from the same employee, which are already on file with the mine, must be retrieved. Some are taken from one of more than 28,000 file cabinets. Others are printed out from an electronic records database. If any document is missing, it must be hunted down through phone calls and emails to other federal agencies and added to the file. This process can take days or weeks or even months. Finally, the important information from that paperwork is keyed back into a computer by hand. The data is now digital again after a paper-based process that lasted weeks. Right now, the average case takes about 60 days to process. That's faster than it was a few years ago, but it's still the same as it was in 1977. At last count, there are more than 23,500 cases still pending. Three times in the last 30 years, the federal government has tried to improve this process. In all, they spent more than $100 million on efforts to automate, modernize, and digitize. Each one failed. And each time, they returned to the old way of processing retirement papers on paper. With a backlog of retirement applications mounting, the Office of Personnel Management has turned to a more low-tech but more certain solution. They hired 40 more people to deal with the paperwork. 